Hello everyone, I'm delighted to be here with you again. Today, we are excited to introduce the Fossey Audio V3 Mono, a monoblock power amplifier. Following the launch of the V3 stereo amplifier, we've incorporated a wealth of feedback and suggestions from our users, achieving a technological breakthrough to create this milestone amplifier. Now, let's dive into it. Let's delve deep into the V3 Mono's materials, craftsmanship, and basic functionalities. The V3 Mono is crafted from carefully selected all-aluminum alloy, featuring a classic black finish that not only adds a touch of elegance, but also ensures the device's durability. It is precision engineered using CNC machining and undergoes anodizing and fine sandblasting to enhance its texture and user tactile experience. Additionally, the front panel's unique bevel design not only enhances the visual appeal, but also optimizes handling. Its compact size, nearly palm-sized, ensures that it does not occupy much space. On the front panel, the V3 Mono features a minimalist dual-toggle design. One toggle controls the power on and off, and for the first time, we have introduced an automatic standby mode. In this mode, if there is no signal input for 10 minutes, the device automatically enters standby mode, consuming only 0.5 watts of power. It turns back on automatically upon signal detection, making it convenient for users while effectively reducing power consumption. The other toggle is used for selecting the input mode, simplifying the operation process. Turning to the rear panel, you will see that the V3 Mono offers both RCA and balanced XLR input options. The RCA input allows for 25 decibels and 31 decibels gain settings, while the XLR interface also supports a 1 4th inch TRS input. It features a monophonic speaker output and supports a power input ranging from 32 to 48 volts. To save space and offer convenience, we provide an optional 48 volts 10 amps power supply unit that can power two V3 mono units simultaneously through a power splitter cable. Lastly, let's talk about the cooling design. Like the ZA3, the V3 Mono has an upgraded cooling system with side vents and dust filters, ensuring full chassis heat dissipation. This design guarantees stable performance even under long periods of high load. In our next segment, we will open up the V3 Mono to explore its internal design in greater detail. Let's take a closer look at the V3 Mono circuit board highlighting the core technologies and design features that set it apart from previous amplifiers. One of the most significant advancements in the V3 Mono is the implementation of post-filter feedback technology. This breakthrough addresses the long-standing issue of load dependence in Class D amplifiers, significantly improving distortion, linearity, and frequency response, thereby enhancing audio purity and system efficiency. The V3 Mono is equipped with the highly acclaimed Texas Instruments TPA3255 amplifier chip, paired with the NE5532 op amps, also from Texas Instruments. Catering to users with unique audio preferences, both of these amplifier chips are replaceable with any other DIP-8 package dual discrete op amps, allowing for personalized sound tuning, which we will demonstrate later. In addition to top quality amplifier and op amp chips, we have meticulously selected audiophile grade components for the V3 Mono, including Nichicon 63 volts, 2200 microfarads filtering capacitors, Sumida's audio inductors, Wima capacitors, Elna capacitors, and an NTC thermistor. Together, these components ensure stable and pristine audio output. The circuit board features a four-layer design, which not only enhances signal stability and audio purity, but also boosts overall performance and anti-interference capabilities. Lastly, the heat dissipation design of the V3 Mono is worth mentioning again. The amplifier chip is positioned at the bottom, closely integrated with the heat sink that aligns with the chassis, effectively turning the entire chassis into a dissipator. Side vents ensure proper air circulation, significantly improving the overall cooling performance and ensuring the stability of the device during extended operation. In summary, the V3 Mono's sophisticated circuit design, premium components, and exceptional cooling system ensure that it can perform reliably under high loads. This allows you to enjoy your music without concerns about overheating or overload, 
immersing you in a world of uninterrupted music. Now, let's focus on what audiophiles care most about, the key specifications of the V3 Mono. Firstly, regarding its rated power with a 48 volts 5 amps power supply, the V3 Mono delivers a robust 240 watts output at a 4 ohms load. This means the V3 Mono can power most passive speakers with sufficient force, ensuring a strong sense of power and dynamic range in your music. Next, let's discuss the signal-to-noise and distortion ratio. The V3 Mono achieves 101 decibels in balanced input mode, showcasing its superior ability to maintain the purity of audio signals, ensuring that every detail of the music is perfectly presented. The signal-to-noise ratio reaches an impressive 123 decibels, which guarantees a noise-free background, allowing you to immerse yourself in crystal-clear music. Lastly, the distortion level is less than 0.006%. This ensures that even at high volumes, the V3 Mono maintains the clarity and transparency of the sound, making your music experience more authentic and refined. In summary, through these critical technical parameters, the V3 Mono demonstrates its excellence in audio performance. Whether it's power, clarity, or purity, it meets the expectations of the most discerning listeners. Now, let's move on to the demonstration of the V3 Mono. First, let's set up a desktop stereo listening scenario using the V3 Mono amplifiers. Ensure that the power toggles on both V3 Mono units are turned off. Connect the CD player to the two V3 Monos using RCA cables, and then use speaker wires to connect the passive speaker's left and right channels to the speaker outputs of the V3 Monos. Next, power both amplifiers using a 48 volts 10 amps power supply with a splitter cable to feed both units simultaneously. Finally, set the power toggles to auto or on and the input mode toggle to RCA. With this setup complete, you are ready to play music from the source device. Please note that since the V3 Mono does not have a volume control, Start with the volume at the lowest setting on your source device and gradually increase it to an appropriate level. Also, feel free to adjust the gain as needed to match your listening preferences. This setup ensures a rich and immersive audio experience, optimized by the powerful and precise delivery of the V3 Mono. Next, let's explore a more advanced usage scenario that fully taps into the potential of the V3 Mono. As we know, an audio-video receiver plays a central role in home theater systems, integrating various functions such as signal reception, processing, amplification, and distribution. While AVRs can connect directly to speakers and provide a one-stop solution, their limitations in power output, audio quality, flexibility, and cooling make external amplifiers particularly important for those seeking ultimate sound quality, high customization, and expandability. This is where the V3 Mono comes into play as an excellent choice. By connecting five V3 Mono units to the left front, right front, center, left rear, and right rear channel outputs of an AVR, and then linking them to the corresponding speakers, you can set up a sophisticated 5.0 home theater system. Each V3 Mono, under a four ohms load with a 48 volts, 5 amps power supply, provides 240 watts of rated power to each channel. This setup not only ensures pristine audio quality, but also offers flexibility in speaker placement and superior heat dissipation, meeting the demands of most home theater environments. Finally, we'll explore the V3 Mono's swappable op-amp design, a feature many audiophiles cherish. By using different op-amp chips, you can achieve various sound signatures, enhancing the versatility of the V3 Mono. If you have preferred op-amps, you can follow these steps to swap them out. Before we begin, please prepare the necessary tools for disassembly. For this demonstration, you will need a hex screwdriver and a pair of tweezers. 
First, use a hex screwdriver to remove a total of four screws from the left and right sides of the rear panel, as well as the bottom. Then slide out the main board. You will notice two op amp chips positioned here on the main board. Both are swappable. Use the tweezers to gently pry them out from the side of the pin gap. Next, install the new op amp chips into the sockets. Pay close attention to the orientation of the chips. There is usually a dot semicircle or a number one on the chip cover and a semicircle mark on the PCB, indicating the correct direction for installation. It is crucial to install the chips correctly to avoid damaging them. Here's a reference image for guidance. In this demonstration, we are installing the Sparkos SS3602 discrete op amps. After securing the new op amps, briefly connect the power and speaker wires to test if the sound output is normal. If everything sounds good, proceed to reassemble the case. That concludes the op-amp replacement process, which is quite easy. The V3 Mono supports a variety of well-known DIP-8 package dual discrete op-amps. To understand the characteristics of different op-amps and the distinct sound qualities they can bring to your audio experience, you can watch our previous demonstration video featuring op-amps like the NE5532, Muses 02, OPA2604, JRC4580D, and Sparkos SS3602. After listening, you will likely find the perfect match for your taste. Lastly, we have compiled a list of op amps compatible with the V3 Mono for your reference. We've comprehensively showcased the power and versatility of the V3 Mono Monoblock amplifier. Thank you for watching and I hope this presentation has inspired you to explore new dimensions of music and sound quality. We appreciate your continued support and commitment to our products. We strive to bring you the best audio solutions, so stay tuned for more. Looking forward to our next session together. Goodbye for now.